Hi, I'm Dr. Chah from Reedy Clinic in Leamington Spa in Warwickshire. Uh, today we are meeting this lovely young lady. Uh, she's only 32 and uh, she came to us uh, a good few weeks ago with uh, a condition called angiocaritoma. A vulval angiocaritoma, that's what she came to us. Um, she had this for a number of years and it was affecting her confidence. It did have a minor episodes of bleeding uh, now and again following trivial trauma. But uh, that was not, uh, not the main issue. Bleeding was not the main issue. There was no pain either. And her main concerns was the cosmetic appearance of the genital area. And then she contacted us subsequently saying came here and then she had a consultation. We explained this is a condition, a rare disorder, skin disorder called angiocaritoma, uh, which is basically a dilated uh, wall of the vein in the genital area and they show up as tiny uh, dusky blue blisters um, on the skin surface and they don't appear very nice. Uh, sometimes occasionally it can interestingly cause pain and discomfort in the genital area, especially in elderly ladies. But uh, in men, when they affect the genital area, it is the only scrotum which gets affected um, so if you have uh, something of this sort, blood blister-like um, problem in the genital area, you do need to go and see your own GP or your skin specialist to get a diagnosis and get treated appropriately. The problem, the angiocaritoma problem is a progressive disease and it, as the age advances, the number of these blood blisters uh, like lesions will increase in number. Um, so you can have it treated if, it, if they are massive um, amount, then uh, a surgical excision of the diseased part of the scrotum or the vulva has to be excised and uh, it's a quite a radical procedure, uh, vulvectomy or uh, scrotoplasty and all those things. But for a mild disease or mild illness, uh, we treat at Renew Skin Health Clinic in Leamington Spa. So today we're meeting Amber, lovely uh, young Amber who um, came to us from Hereford. Yeah. Um, so you went through the consultation process. How did that all go, Amber? Did you feel confident in it? Did you feel that you are in a safe place and all that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I felt very comfortable. And I learned a lot more information about it. Right, okay. So you mentioned that you've seen a good few number of doctors um, during the last few years, including one gynecologist. Yes. Okay. Did they tell you what it was and how to proceed and all that? No, they had no idea what it was. Right. They've never seen it before. Right, okay. So how did you find us then? I Googled a lot. Right. Uh, and this was the only place actually I found. Right, okay. So then you came here, had a consultation with me and uh, we gave you a patch test to treat just a few spots um, that was uh, how many weeks ago was that three to four weeks yes, it was, yeah. and then you healed up nicely within a few days yeah fantastic right okay so what would you like to tell the viewers the uh, patch test was successful or not or? it was very successful okay so you are happy with that i'm very happy okay and now you are going to have the full vulval area treated uh, with the same method and uh, we are going to see you again in three weeks down the line during which time you will completely heal but you will come back for follow-up and if we find any spots that we may have missed today we'll redo it but that won't be any charge for that yeah. right. so if you're out there if you're watching um, this video and if you have angiocaritoma um, either you are a lady or a man or somebody in the family then my advice to you is that uh, do not panic. This is not cancer. This is a completely uh, normal condition. Uh, somebody do get it. And of course, I understand how it affects you. Go and see your own GP. Find a local clinic, local surgeon who can treat it. And uh, if it's a very severe case, of course, you would need more radical treatment. But uh, if it's a mild to moderate form, uh, we can help you. Uh, reducing the appearance of these angiocaritoma in the vulval area or the scrotal area. So. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.